Hi all, this is Miss Adler and today we are going to do perspective from the point of view of looking up at skyscrapers and uh, into a sky of warm color. And uh, first I'll just talk about materials. One uh, are, you could use crayons. Uh, for outlining, you can use a black Sharpie or a crayon, my most trusted crayon. You should start with drawing a pencil and drawing lightly. Uh, I will be drawing dark so you guys can see it. And uh, for details, we can use marker and uh, use water as a wash for the marker or we can uh, do uh, watercolor um, or colored pencils it's uh, for coloring in your cityscape so um, i'm going to begin uh, first by uh, looking at um, uh, i'm going to show you I, i'll show you some pictures of a finished piece on your the team's general page for your grade. But the first thing that you're going to do are you're going to draw three horizontal lines. So let's just start somewhere in the middle and I'm going to draw um, a uh, vertical line, excuse me. I'm gonna draw three vertical lines and they can be longer than the other or shorter than the other or the same or the same length, it's up to you. Then on each vertical line, you're going to draw two diagonal lines or an upside down V going from your, uh, the top of your vertical line. So you're going to draw two diagonal lines or an upside down V. It'll look like arrows pointing upward uh, the next thing that you're going to do, so we can give this a little bit more perspective, is you're going to draw three more lines. And I'm going to draw three lines uh, below my um, first three lines. So I'm going to draw a vertical line here, another vertical line, and another vertical line. And they're about the same length. And you're going to do the same thing, uh, a diagonal line or an upside down V going out towards uh, from the top vertical line. So now with the lines that you just drew, the three shorter lines, the second row, uh, draw your vertical lines from the bottom of the of um, the upside down V all the way down to the end of your page do the same for the other two that you drew for the second row I'll tell you that once you've done that now you'll be able to show some perspective of what is in front and what is behind so we'll start with the, the first three lines that we began. And I'm gonna start drawing a vertical line going from the bottom of my upside down V down to the end of the page. And I'm gonna draw a straight line going uh, from the end of the V, but instead of going right through the second group of lines, I'm just gonna stop right there at the top. Um, so it'll look like that that building is closer or in front of the building that we drew in the beginning. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the second building and I wanna to touch, just extend the line so that these two buildings are basically touching one another. Um, it's up to you to think which one is in front or how the line hits the uh, side of the upside down V. 
and I'm going to continue to do this third line vertically and the line from the end of the upside down V to extend and touch the upside down V and the um, below. So now you have a group of buildings that look like that you're um, looking that they look like they're one is in front of the other one is behind the other and before we go to the sky I want to um, put some windows on your building and to show more perspective in the direction of those windows I'm going to make um, a uh, rhombus or um, a, a parallelogram where this uh, line of the uh, upside down V is parallel to the line and it'll give you more perspective